Hello, uh, welcome back again. Uh, I just restart my NFS uh, for NFS server here. So before it's crashed, because I utilize uh, just one computer. So you may have two computers, that would be better. So that's my NFS now, it's running beautifully without trouble and the server is staying on LED. Okay, let me go next next part, yeah? So the next part, I've done that bit already. So now enable uh, TCP on the IP table. So now I'm going to work on this on the IP table. So I'll copy that statement. Again, this is my client. You have to change this client NFS according to your NFS client, all right? Do not copy that statement exactly what it is. You have to modify that. Okay, still work on the server. So I'm going to uh, etc syscom IP table and modify that modify the IP table and you got to be very careful in, uh, in this statement if you put it wrong I put a vanilla at the bottom right so have a look where I'm put it and then you might just follow at, at, at this bit for now so don't put outside make sure put right underneath whatever that you have so again this input the source where they came from and then make it similar okay now save them and then restart the IP table All right, so now the IP table open, file was open, file is listening at the moment. So I believe that most of my server communication is, is, is complete. Now the client side, so I have a client side over here, that's my client side. So I'm going to work on uh, uh, this bit here. So I'm going to create the sharing point, uh, sh the, sh the mail point on the client. I do MRT and the file here is to NFS underscore server. You make anything you want to. To NFS1, okay? To, uh, to NFS1. Alright. So I make that folder. So I'm going to run this share point here. To NFS1. So please copy that you use mine a little bit. And IP address of the server. Uh, IP address of the server would be, I don't know what it is now. Okay, that's my server IP address. I copy them. I put over here. So now, mail TC, uh, NFS version 4, mail point to that file and then run from here. Okay, before you run this command, you have to enable port map on the client as well. Okay, uh, so here, enable the port map on the client and you can check at the moment they run or not run at the moment it's not run so it's start them ok so run that statement there done so now you can check your NFS client there. So at the moment I'm on the client I talk to the server at the moment so that's not the big bet alright so now example I'm going into the server NFS there uh, and then I make any file if I want to, for example, I make uh, some basic stuff. Okay, hello. Me. Oops. Hello me, right? So I finish them. Okay, now, over here, that's NFS client. Alright, now I'm going to the server end. Uh, server end. Here we go. I'm going to home. And where's my data? My data will be in here, right? So CD and MS there. So I have the file here. So that's the end of a server here. But when you create, a, as at the previous picture, whatever you create on the client, whatever you create on the client, this sharing point, Sharing point here, we come here automatically. All right. So in this scenario that we have in here, the client. Okay, that's a client, right? Client. What you whatever you do, it will jump to here. That's a server end. Okay. So that how your NFS implementation is being complete. Okay. So that's best of luck. If you got any issue that you, if there is some issue for sure during your implementation at the first time, but uh, 
you can do some search on that if you wish to, or you can just drop me an email if you wish. All right, people. So I think I'm done there already. So remember, I put this first on the top here before you run. Again, this is your own server, right? NFS server IP address. Don't just put it at the same. Uh, yeah, that's very much. So figure them out which IP belong to which, and then of course that's the client, that client on the server. And again, when you come in down the client end, you got to work that way. All right, people. Best of luck. Bye for now.